All right. What's lighting these clouds up? Right there in the middle of my screen, it's hard to see him. But if the sun's low on the horizon over here, <laughs> how is that light going over the hump of clouds? Because remember, it's got to be hump of clouds up and back over to there. Huh? How's it doing it? Mm-hmm. And I bet you this whole side over here will still be lit up even if the sun was down below the horizon. We'd still see that lit up. All right, I'm wrong. Uh, 825 is uh, sunset. It's like uh, 751 right now. So the sun would be really low on the horizon there. Then we go back over here to the west, or east, and uh, look at there. It's all lit up, folks. <laughs> yeah. Radio. Radio. So if all these clouds are humped up over my head and all the big there. Okay, I started filming at about 750. Sunset was supposed to be at 825 and if you look at the picture at the beginning um, the sun was supposed to have already set at that time um, so you're not seeing really the sun because there's clouds on that horizon too uh, what you're seeing is uh, just the, the light from the sun but the question is is how is that light shooting all the way behind me and lighting up the eastern horizon when the sun is on the west real low to the horizon um, this this is just basically kind of impossible but if you look at what science shows uh, where they show a light shining through a prism or a medium and that light is bending downward and and if you're at the other end of that prism with the light being high as you're seeing it the light is being bent downward which this is something we say that light is being bent downward to the eye of the observer so the farther that light goes away the lower it appears even though it is higher now they switched it around on us um, B flat did a very good video on this um, if I remember, I'll put the link in the, uh, in the description and in the comment section. Um, but if you look at that, they say the perceived sun is below the horizon. And they're trying to say that light is bending up over. But if you actually look at their presentation, um, the, if you're standing at the other end of that prism, you're not seeing the light as high as they show it you're seeing it actually down lower to the ground uh, which is means that it is bending downward not upward but they tell you that it's bending upward um, which is totally opposite of what they're actually showing you so again if you 
you know, look at where they're shining the light directly straight through this prism and you're standing on the other side of that prism at the end of that prism, you're going to see the light lower than the perceived light actually is. And this is why we always see this, the sky lit up behind us, even though the sun has gone down. Now, this is a good, good example because I've got nothing but a big thunderstorm above me. Um, and you'll see lightning flashing and everything, which tells you a lot. Um, <laughs> tells you that these clouds are not just little thin clouds hanging on up there. These are big clouds, big thunderstorm moved through. And I only went out here to catch lightning. I wanted to take some long exposures of lightning or time lapses of lightning, um, <laughs> which I did get some, not a whole lot, but uh, you know I got some awesome bolts of lightning and you'll see some of them in this video. Um, and I could have cut this video shorter and there you go. Um, but uh, I wanted to leave it a long one so you could kind of slowly see this. Now I did take these little cell phone uh, videos a little bit here a little bit there but you'll see at the end how the sky to the east of me is still lit up even after the Sun is supposed to have set so how would that light be beaming through this big hump of clouds because you got to imagine that if earth is humped you got this big curve in it then these clouds would have to uh, you know be going along the curve and be humped up above the curve um, so the clouds are even humped up because that's the way the globe works right uh, again this is almost like uh, you catch something that you have to ask how is that lighting it up and there was actually a couple of people a young couple here and I and I pointed out to him I said look at here um, and this was before the light popped up but I said, look at here. I said, what's lighting the clouds up um, in the east when the light wasn't even shown at, at that time? It was all clouds out there um, and raining hard, so you couldn't even see any light. Um, so again, they looked at me and they go, yeah, that's a good question. And, and they, were, they were like the same thing, though. Um, I mean, they're totally strangers, and I, and I said, yeah, I said, you know, after uh, this big pandemic, um, I have to question science, completely question all the science, because the science has screwed up people, um, especially with the shape of the earth. Now, we're taught from, <laughs> from birth, basically, from the time we're able to communicate that we live on this globe. We're sent to school. Teacher's got a globe on her desk, you know, and it looks like a ball. And what are what are kids? They're they're interested in, you know, playing soccer ball, kickball, football, basketball, right? So we see all of this stuff as we're growing up. So again, you know, we're thinking, hey, we live on this ball, but in all reality, do we really? I mean, is that reality that we live on this spinning globe flying through space, spiraling and spinning and rotating around the sun as the sun is moving through the Milky Way galaxy at almost light speed? Uh, this is crazy, folks. Um, really, can you put a speed on light? I don't think you really can. Um, you know, they say you can, but I, I think different uh, mediums, different density, the light's going to act differently. So, um, you know, always question your science and even question your own belief systems uh, because that really makes a difference. Now, I keep panning back to the west or the east and uh, panning back to the west too here. And you say, well, you know, what about that little hole in the clouds there? Is that lighting up enough to light the clouds up behind me? Well, if so, wouldn't I see a stream of light cutting across this dark sky, meeting the clouds behind me? That's what I should see, but I don't see that. And you don't see it either in the video because that light is stopped right at the western horizon where the sun is supposed to have set. So now the sun has already set. 
um, because I'm pretty sure it's after 825, which was the supposed sunset. Uh, but all you're seeing right here is the light and the sun is supposed to be below the water line. So how in the world are we lighting up this sky behind me in the east? Again, I leave that up to y'all folks. Uh, you know, think for yourself. Do your own research. Do your own observations. But I've always said that the clouds give it away. The clouds give it away. The stars give it away. All kinds of things give it away. But most people are just stuck in that belief system where they're just going to believe whatever they were told or taught. And they're not going to ever question it. And those people, the ones that will never question the science, are the ones that are pushing for certain things for the government to do to you whether you want it or not they want to force things upon you they want to force uh, taking away our right to defend ourselves. and I think I know the purpose of that because the, they'll never the elites of the world can never take over America as long as the American people are armed so don't give them up folks don't give up any of your rights and don't ask for security from your government because all you're going to get is more um, tyrannical orders. They're going to come down on you hard. They're, they're not going to treat you properly. They're going <clears> to <throat> say all kinds of things to you to get you to comply. Do not comply, folks. Um, this is the biggest thing that you could... The biggest mistake you could ever make is complying uh, to tyrannical orders or tyrannical laws. Um, like I said, do your own research. Go out and make your own observations and question your own beliefs because that's what I had to do. I, I was stuck with this belief that, you know, I lived on a globe and all of this stuff and uh, come to find out I don't live on a globe. All right, I took a screenshot of this footage right here to just to show that uh, the top of this cloud is lit up white while the bottom of it is dark, um, which can't not happen on a globe, not with this light being the way that it is and the hump of clouds that are in front of me. This should never happen. And, you know, if it wasn't for this little hole opening up in the sky um, or on the horizon, we wouldn't even have seen what we see here. And I waited a few minutes and then I took this last clip right here. Um, and this is pretty much <laughs> no light in the sky, no light on the horizon. But yet, I'm still lit up behind me in the west or in the east. I'm sorry. I always say, I always get my directions messed up. But this is the east and you can still see the clouds lit up on the top out there. Um, they're not lit up from the bottom. Go back to the to the west where the sun was, and there's no sun. So how? I mean, you know, you're gonna have to tell me that that light is humping up above, over this big lump of clouds ab above me and shining in the east. Come on, folks, wake up. See the lies. Don't trust the lies. Question them.